I'm going to talk today about an anime that I love, but is definitely not for everyone. Uh, the anime I'm going to talk about is Infinite Revias, uh, anime from, I believe, 1999. Um, and it is about a group of teenagers on a big space station um, in which very strange things are happening. Um, and what I'm going to tell you about the premise is sort of a very classic kind of back of the DVD case sort of, of stuff. So don't worry about this being spoilers per se, even though it may sound like it. Um, the main characters are all, like I said, sort of teenagers on this, uh, basically a, um, think of like a Votech in space. It is a, a giant space station that is designed to teach young people how to become astronauts, set in the future. And uh, the idea is you need a lot of uh, training to learn how to operate all this machinery out in space. So teenagers go up there and learn how to um, be astronauts, basically, how to, how to use all this machinery and so forth. And so we get to see them uh, training and learning how to do all this stuff. Um, these girls are learning how to be uh, basically uh, space stewardesses, which is kind of funny. Um, and you get all the various stuff around that and, um, and, and training on that. Uh, and then things start happening. Um, this is uh, a series in which um, some bad stuff happens because basically, and again, this is basic premise stuff, um, there is a terrorist event on board the space station and um, the adult instructors uh, attempt to resolve that and they do kind of resolve that, but in the process, all of the adults die. And so it's a whole bunch of teenagers all on their own having to survive uh, for what turns out to be a very long time. Some folks have called this Lord of the Flies in Space. That's actually not really accurate because this is more an exploration of how these characters all um, interact and consider how to behave when there are um, um, when they're under great stress. In other words, while Lord of the Flies is about basically um, how everyone devolves into chaos. Uh, society devolves into chaos. This is about people trying to figure out the right systems to be in place to keep everything going. Um, and the thing is, um, not everyone's right. <laughs> and so seeing how these things evolve over time, seeing what people are trying is really, really fascinating. What's also cool about Revias is it has a very, very large cast of characters. Uh, I'm going to see if I can show you a little bit of um, some of these shots here. Um, because one of the things they did for Revias is that there are, um, um, well, a lot of characters on the, uh, uh, on the station and this is not going well. There we go. This is a little better. Uh, you see a whole bunch of these different characters. According to the staff, they designed character designs for all 500 students on the Libra Delta. Um, and you can kind of tell in a lot of these crowd sequences. Um, there's very little in the way of sort of generic background characters. Um, you know, everyone seems distinct. One of the great things about it, one of the reasons I love it, is that you see a lot of different storylines evolve over the course of the anime series. It's only 26 episodes, but every time they cut to a hallway and characters, um, and you see different characters in the hallway, you start to pick up on, like, oh, that boy and girl are always together. Um, and, oh, those people are arguing, but they were together before. And all that kind of stuff you get to see sprinkled throughout the series. Um, it is, granted, it's one, it's one of those anime series that does hit a lot of different genres. Again, there's, there's science fiction. Um, um, there's not much in the way of action. It's mostly drama. There's a little bit of romance, some comedy here and there. Um... Um, but more sort of um, black humor in everything that's going on with them. This is one of those series where, um, let's just say, um, death is always a possibility, right? Like they're in, they're, in the, they're in space, and it's a very harsh environment, and people are trying to avoid that as much as possible. But this is one of those series where it was nearing the end, and I was like, man, like I could see death coming for a lot of people here, or they could all survive. Like those, those are all very legitimate things. Um, and it's rare to see an anime series that is this complex. 
that deals with this many characters, that deals with a subject this heavy, and really explores that over the course of a two-core anime series. It's a really fascinating show. Um, and um, I just found it something that, that just really engaged me and, and really, um, one of the nice things about it is how it provides so many different characters that if this character doesn't work for you, this other character will. And they're all teenagers. You know, some of them have really bad ideas. Um, and some of them have really good ideas that aren't immediately apparent. So really interesting series. Again, Infinite Revius. Um, just a really fascinating show about um, all sorts of things um, happening. And it's just, um, it's a really, it's an interesting show, uh, which not everyone likes, but uh, definitely works for me.